Begin the current daf, Masech is Gittin, daf Ayin Gimel. Begin six lines down at the top of the Yamad, where the Gemara continues uh, from a discussion that it introduced in the previous daf. We're the middle discussing some intricate cases regarding conditions that the husband makes with the shlichas of the get. Where if he says, as uh, we quoted from the Mishnah, Zegitich Mahayoyim. This you get from today, if I die from this illness, he gets up and he survives. Rav Huna said, a halacha related to Gita Kimat Nasai. His get is like his matana. And on that, the Gemara is going to continue to have a disagreement with Amiram regarding what they hold if he survives, if he could retract or not, as we're going to shortly explain. So I'm discussing today's daf are the concept of Gita Kimat Nasai. Whether the get of a Shemara, someone says matana. Which we know the halacha of matna shchimer as kiksubinik and mesurin dami. When the dying person gives a gift, it's like it's already done. Do we say the same thing is regarding his get or not? The halacha of the next mishnah, which is the same case of that where uh, the way Rashi at least explains mahayoyim imati from today if I die. So on that case where it's like okay, depends if he's gonna die or not. So like the sachrim, she's not be secluded with him only in front of witnesses even the slave or even the maidservant, just to make sure, or actually depends on which man the Amma, what the reason for that is, which actually that depends on the machlaik, is if Edom observed the husband and wife in seclusion, what are we concerned for would happen if they would be secluded? Machlaik is regarding mahi bais na yamim, which actually from the Mishnah sounds like it's the same case, but the Gemara is going to explain it's going on a different case. Um, what, what is her status during those days if, let's say, um, she would be uh, having, um, would she be treated as an Asia Zizl Chodabadeha, or it should be considered like a Mergresh than a Kodesh, and um, which relates to the concept of a Karmachatis versus a Karmachatis and Tali. Karmachatis when you do a definitive sin, and Tali when we're not so clear if this was a sin or not. So begin the current Dav, but just to quickly uh, review what we did at the end of the previous Dav, the Mishnah had said that if a Shemira, a dying person, gave his wife a get, and he stated, This you get from today, if I die from this illness. Okay. Now, if he then recovered somewhat, and he went to the street, and then he became, became sick again, and he died. So the Mishnah says, okay, so we evaluate him. If he died because of the first illness, so okay, so then it's going to be a get um, because the Tanai of was fulfilled. But if we said, if not, then it's not going to be a get because the Tanai was not fulfilled. Now, Rav Huna said, halacha, which he said, he says that there was, there was, depends on what happens exactly. Um, if let's say he was Ahmad Vahalach, so he walked without assistance, so he's fully recovered, and the get is void. Why? Because the Tnaiv Imati Machilizeh was not fulfilled. And if one says the Gita is Kemat Nasai, the get of Ashkim are similar to his Matana. So what does that mean? That just like by Matanasa im Amat Chayzer, if a Shemira gives a gift, he's only giving it because he's dying. If he survives, it's not a gift. So says Rav Huna, same thing is Avgitai im Amat Chayzer, and then he says reverse. Those are true, just like his get, even though he doesn't specify that it's you know the whole instructions. He just says Kisvu, and he doesn't say Tnu. Still, we're going to give it. Af Matanasa also once he says give it, even though he didn't say Kanu, uh, even though they did weren't kind, it's still it's still going to still going to work. So, so essentially, according to Rav Huna, when the guy, so the Gemara was discussing, well, didn't our Mishnah say Ahmed Vahalach, and then he could die from the first thing? We said he didn't really heal. He went from one illness to another illness. But Rav Huna's primary halacha was that the get of a shimra is like the matan of a shimra. And therefore, if he heals, so even if he would die from that first illness, it wouldn't, it wouldn't go ahead and be a get because it's totally void when he. Um, when he when he when he when he when he's Ahmad Vahalach Bashuk, just like by the Matana, is the same thing as get. That's where our Gemara continues now, six lines down with the top of the Amad and I and give him an Aleph that Rabba Barava Lay Svirlahu Ad Rav Huna. They don't hold of this teaching of Rav Huna. Rather, they hold that where the dying person did not tell her, Im Mati, if I die. So he just gave her a get as a Shimra. Rav Huna held, as we said before, that, okay, even if he didn't say, Imati even if he didn't make any conditions, he just said, here, here's a get, but if it's a shchimera, if he survives, it's not going to be a get, they disagree, they say no. 
If he survives, he cannot back out, and it will be a get. Why? Because of Gezeir, a rabbinic decree. Because maybe people are going to say, ah, yesh get la chamisa. You see that a get can be given after death. Why? It's a little a, com- a complex explanation. Rashi explains, because if you're going to tell me that if he's Ahmad, if he survives, Chayzeh, he could back out, which is, L'chayr should be the way, because a Shechimra is only like Kamatz Nasa, only if he's going to uh, die, people are going to come to erroneously say, ah, there's only a get when he died. Because we see that only when he dies is it a get. But we see when he doesn't die, it's not a get. Ooh, obviously people are going to say, you see, because there's a get lachamisa. And then they're going to come to validate when someone says, this is your get lachamisa. They're not going to know that, no, it's since he didn't specify anything, in contrast to the Mishnah, that when he gives it to her, he wants to get to be from now on condition that he dies. So, therefore, but if a get would actually be la'achamisa, oh, that would be problematic. So, as a gzeira, say, Rabbi and Rava, we're not going to allow this halacha, even though Rav seemingly is correct, that it should be void. But the problem then, what happens is, if you're only going to allow it when he dies, people are going to assume that it's because he died, that it's taking effect when he dies. And that means to say that, oh, get will only be, it could be la chamisa. That's not, not true. <laughs> so to avoid that problem, we say, no, even if he survives, he cannot back out. It's going to be a get. So no one's going to think it only happened when he died. So you're not going to run into the concern that people thinking there could be a get la chamisa. So a little bit of a, of a finer point over there. But that's why Rabbi and Rabbi disagree with the teaching of Huna. And that is the Gemara, really? For me, Kamidi, is there such a thing? Biblically, is not a get. Because... It was only in the intention that he's dying that he gave her this get. And again, similar to Matana, is not going to be Matana B'Shemra. So to the get of the Shemra was only because he's going to die, and he didn't die. So biblically, it's not a get. B'Shem Gezerim, because of a rabbinic decree, because that you're going to, you're going to knock, you're going to let it only when he dies, and people are going to think it's happening because when he dies, Sharina Eish is Alma, she's a married woman. She's an Eish The get is not a get. And now she's marrying other people because of your rabbinic concern. You're permitting an Eish to marry other people? Is he more in? Yes. Because calling the Mikadish, whoever gets engaged, a daita the Rabban the Mikadish gets engaged with the, con- the intention of the rabbis. And that's what we say by the Chuppah, Kedas Moshe of Yisrael. And Vafkin Rabban the Kedushim Menei. And the rabbis removed the Kedushim from such a person. So your Kedushim was revoked. So you're not a married woman anymore. Why did they revoke it? Because, yeah, they saw fit that this is going to be, tra- that is going to be tra- tra- a travesty because people are going to think. That, that, that you could give a get lachamisa. And that, I'm like Rabbi Ravashi, he says, Tainach Kaddish Bekaspa. Well, that makes sense if the Kaddushan was with monies. The rabbis could say that the money was a gift and it wasn't Kaddushan. Kaddush Bebiyah, Michael, I mean, we know there's three ways of doing Kaddushan. Isha Nikkinis Bekesab Shtar Bebiyah. And if he did Kaddushan with the Bia, what are you going to say then? Amalai says to him, Shabir Rabban, Labilas, Labilas Nus. The rabbis would make that his Bia was old Nus. Up until this point, there was never a Bia of Kaddushan. And the rabbis have that ability. To revoke that status. Now, continuing to a similar type of case as we had in the Mishnah, says the Gemara Tan Rabban Lana Brisa. Zegitech mehayoyim. This you get from today. Im mati mechaylizeh. If I die from this illness, and then v'nafla ba'isalov, a house collapses on him, or he kishay nochash, or snake bites him. Says the Brisa in the get. It's not going to be a get. I mean, even if you're going to say that it's during the time of the illness, the problem is, this is what's called the oinos of the This is something that was an oinos, a, a, a situation that's not common to, to a building to collapse on him. And that means to say he never entertained such an event. And he, he only said if he's going to die through the illness. So although he, he was, let's say, he had uh, a certain terminal illness, he said, Oi, that uh, I'm giving you a get today if I die from this illness. And then the, 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 the whole ward collapses, and he dies. So it's not a get, because he didn't die from this chayli. Now, but let's say he says, Let's say, if I don't get up from this illness, the novel of bodies in the house collapse, and then my kishu nakash with snake bites him, how is it going to be a get? So the Gemara asks, Maishna Reisha, Maishna Seifa. Now, even the way I said it, you could already tell a little bit subtle difference between the Reisha and the Seifa. 
But Rashi explains that if this oinus, this, this extenuating circumstance, that's not common, was entertained by this sick person, then the first case should also be a get. Why? Rashi explains because he died from this illness because Rashi says the words Michaeli Zeh doesn't mean you're going to die from this illness. It just means in the duration of the illness, which like the Zefa, <laughs> he died from the duration of the illness. He didn't die from that, but it is Michaeli Zeh. So the question is, so why is duration not a get and the Zefa is going to be a get? So Shalchum Itam, they sent from over there through a story that happened by someone that said that if I'm not going to get up from this illness, and what happened was it was Ochle Ari, a lion ate him. So they sent the question to Eretz Yisrael, and then they responded that Ein Lanu, we don't have that it should be a get, because you're right. It is an extenuating circumstance that was not common. A person never entertained such an event, and therefore it's not going to be a get. So essentially, really, it seems like that it's not like the Seifa of the, of the Brisa, which as Taisus brings from the Yushami, the Yushami explains that there's a huge difference between the Reisha and the Seifa. The Reisha, he didn't die from this illness, and he said, but the Seifa just said, if I don't get up from this illness, and he didn't get up. And that doesn't make a difference whether he didn't get up because of this illness or there's something else. But this Taisus, our Gemara, obviously does not hold of that Tchilik, Rather, but all of them, it sounds like that he's going to die in the duration of this illness. And then the Gemara is asking, well, then the, what's the difference between the ratio and the Seifa? And they were saying, basically, the Gemara is answering, you're right, there is no difference. And really, the halach is like the ratio, not like the Seifa, because um, it, it, since it's a Aynasa, the it was an extenuating circumstance that's not common, then it's not going to be having it halach of a get, because he never entertained that when he said that here there should be a get for you. Right, exactly. So actually, the Gemara is going to now shortly explain this, Bryce, so that it's not, it's not authoritative. It's not. Is that not, not what he said? Meaning, he, 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 right, right, exactly. His intention is to have a divorce with him. But it's only if... <laughs> right, he said... Yeah, but his intention, he doesn't want him to stay... His motive is, 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 is to free her. Yes, the taste of this is also at length regarding what was his intention and the words that he said. And right, yes, yeah, so it's you have to know what what exactly um, uh, what he's saying and what uh, what we're going to interpret. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, now, related discussion, the Gemara actually brings a story. Who gavra the zav and arulachavri? Someone sold a piece of property to his friend, and kubalala. The seller accepted upon himself any extenuating circumstances that are going to develop regarding it. He'll appease the buyer. Says, "Don't worry, I'll, 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 I'll take care of it." Now, the saif what happened at the end was afiku ban nahara. The the king commanded that the river should pass through that guy's field, eminent domain. That's it. This guy's field just suddenly became the water highway of the of the of the of the, of the town. Now, so also, the seller came in front of the Ravina to find out his responsibilities. Amalia said to him, Zil go and, you know, calmly go ahead and, and, and make it up to this guy. You accept upon yourself any extenuating circumstances that's going to develop, and you have to insure the guy for this uh, situation. So Amalai who said this Pesach, he asked him as follows, he says, wait a second, this is extenuating circumstances, but it's not common. In other words, the same idea of that the seller never entertained, and this is weird, like you get this with insurance claims and these types of things regarding what was, what's included in that. This was never entertained as a responsibility of the seller. In this I did, but not what's not common. That means to say that was never entertained and that I never had, had taken responsibility for. So I goggled most of so the, the, the situation evolved. Umotla came to Rabba, and the question came from the Rabba. Amalur said to him, yes, you're right. This is a standing stream, but it's not common. And therefore, actually, the seller is going to be exempt from responsibility because, like we said in the previous discussion regarding this guy who gave a get if he dies from this illness, but he never ent- entertained that a building is going to collapse on him, and therefore, it's not going to be a get here also. He's not going to be responsible. However, Isve Ravina Larava. So Ravina, that was, you know, uh, was rejected uh, by Rava's Psak, he asked on Rava from the Bryce we mentioned before. And the Bryce said, the safer, 
which is what you were just asking from. Ravina himself asks on Rava from the Sefer. The Bible says, it says, if the guy says, if I'm not going to get up, not, not, it doesn't say if I'm going to die from this illness. It says, if I don't get up from this illness, and you're right, he never ends up getting up from the illness because the house collapsed on them. Or a snake bites him. The Allah is how it's going to be a get. Now, wait a second. That's a Nasr Lashriach. And even so, you see, it's going to be a get. I thought the guy doesn't entertain things and therefore you're not going to execute based on that. Rava, Vema, he says, but let's look, Miresha. Instead of asking me from the Seva, well, the Rasha supports me because the Rasha is the same type of case, the way our Tamil Bavli at least understands it. And says, Enigah is not going to be a get. So you see, because it's not Shriach, that it's not going to be executed based on that. So, Amalei Ravach, Madifti, Ravina, so Ravach, Madifti, said to Ravina, who he's trying to like help him, he says, Mashum the Kasha Rasha, Seva, because Rav is trying to answer you because the Rasha is difficult on the Seva, let me spin to you. No, we can't refute him from the Seva. You have a good time from the Seva. You see that even though it's like Nasan Le Shriach, but you see that it's going to be a get. So Amalei in, he says, yes, because Kivin the Kasha Rasha Seva, since you see that the Rasha contradicts the Seva, Le'it ma be Medrasha. It's not said in the Beis Medrash, in the place of where the Yeshiva students are sitting to explain it, because the Meshabesh to here, because it's a it's, 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 um, it's mistaken, it it's, uh, has an error. And therefore, Zilbas is smart, you have to go after logic. And logic, would you write, would tell us that I know that it's something beyond its, that, uh, an extended term that's not common. A person doesn't entertain, and therefore, that was not what he had in mind. And if you write, it wouldn't be a get. And therefore, again, therefore, you would not be responsible for insurance also in this, in this equivalent case. Another story the Gemara brings. Papa, Rav Huna, Vered, Rav Yeshua, these two Tamil Chachamim, Zavan, they bought Shumshimi, sesame seeds, a Gida de Nahar Malka, on the bank of the river Malka. So maybe they're making some type of Trina, who knows? They bought some sesame seeds. Agur Malchi. So they hired sailors, Lebrinu, to transport it to their homes. And Kabila Alayu, and the sellers accepted, because the sellers wanted to do the delivery. They accepted Kalei Nasu to Any uh, extenuating circumstance that's going to happen on the road, they say, we'll ensure the delivery of the package. Lasayev at the end is Stakr Nahar Malka. What happened was, is that, maybe like what happened that time in the Suez Canal, the boats couldn't go by because it was dammed up the whole river Malka. Now, the, the sailors were supposed to take it and go through the water to bring it. Some of the who's have Papa and Ravuna said to the sellers, Okay, a guru chamri. Go hire donkey drivers so that Afkeinu Nalan, that you can bring it to us. The Kabiliso, Alaychu, Kalonosa, the Messiah, you accepted all types of extenuating circumstances that can develop. And this is obviously extenuating circumstances. You gotta, you gotta make it up. So also, Kamei the Rabbah, they came in front of the Rabbah. Amalahu, he said to them, Kaki Chivri, which means white geese, because they were elderly uh, sages. Meshalchi Glima the Inchi, who stripped people from their clothing. In other words, you guys are giving a psak din that's for your own personal benefit. This is an extenuating circumstance that's not common. And for that, they would never entertain to insure you for. And since that was not what they entertained, therefore, that's not included in their insurance policy. And therefore, they're not responsible to go ahead and hire donkey drivers to go ahead and deliver for you. And therefore, uh, don't, don't enforce that on them. Now, the Gemara continues, Allah, the next Mishnah, which is a, which is a continuation from uh, the the previous Mishnah, uh, the way Rashi explains it at least. He explains it as a, it, where the guy gives a get, and he says to the woman, "Mehayim imati," which was the second case of the previous Mishnah. From today, if I die. So we said over there in that Mishnah that um, such a case, if he says from today, if I die, it's going to be a get. But again, it's if I die, then it's going to be a get from today. So says the Mishnah, regarding such a case, so his wife should not be secluded with him because he might be intimate with her. Now, there is an opinion that says we're concerned that maybe if he's doing, he's going to have beer with her, it's going to be for the purposes of Kedushan, and then she's going to require a second get because they're re-engaged now. Or... There is an opinion that holds, no, we're not concerned that he's going to be doing Be'elishim Kedushin, but still she's a single woman because she's going to be retroactively divorced. If he dies, it's from today. So even if she's not, even not going to do be with her for Kedushin, but he's not be secluded, she's a, a, a single woman. Can't have a yichud. Dan Vab is Nish Dan Vab. 
because she'd be retroactively divorced. So um, there's a law that they now be secluded with a with a single woman. So therefore, either way, we, according to either one of these opinions, she now be secluded with her. Rather, in front of witnesses, they'll testify and they'll hold them back from being secluded with her. But it could be a Philippi, even based on the testimony of a slave, a Philippi Shivcha, even that of a maidservant. Except for her maidservant, because she's very, um, uh, she's not embarrassed from her own maidservant, therefore she might be secluded, might have Bia with her husband, even though her cleaning lady uh, is there. Now, although this sounds like it's going on the same case, the Gemara will explain that it's actually going on something else. The Mishnah says, Nahi ba'is na'yam. What is our status in those days? He says, as it continued to Ahmed Bey's, She's like a married woman for all halachic purposes. And therefore, whoever has relations with her deliberately will get chanek, by mistake, Now, even though this husband, again, this is assuming it's going on the previous case of Mehayem Emati. So even though the husband's going to die from that illness, and therefore comes out that retroactively she was divorced. So why, if a man would have intimacy with her, a different man, would be chenek or karmachatas? The reason is because he's only divorcing her close to his death. Because the Gemara is actually going to explain that it's what he tells her when he hands over the get to her. This is your get, and you should be divorced from uh, the moment that I'm still in the world if I die. So therefore, Rabbi Huda holds that it's close to the moment he dies that it's a get. Beforehand, she's a totally married woman. That's what Rabbi Huda is saying, that she's a Eish Eish Lechol De Bereha. There's a Bishim, he says, Migredeshes, the Eine Migredeshes. She's divorced and not divorced. Rabbi Yisim holds, from the moment he gives her the get, every single moment, we're not sure from the moment that he says that I'm still in the world, this might be that moment. So therefore, it's a suffix, even retroactively, as we'll explain at the end of the Dav, and therefore, whoever has relations with her is chai for Asham Tali. Because this moment when you had B with her, you don't know. This might have been his last moment. And therefore, this might have been that she is divorced. Or it might have been that it's not his last moment. It comes out that she really is still married. Because it's only me'eshani ba'ilam. It's only going to be like a moment before I die. And therefore, it's like this unknown status. And therefore, according to Abisi, you'd be chai of not a chatas, rather you'd be chai of an Asham Tali. Right, right. That's that's she didn't know, so she thought here. Here, it's a different type of not knowing. Yeah, you know I'm saying that the fact that you would do something that might make you liable should itself be a problem. Right. It's interesting. It's a, it's it's a, yeah. It's a little different because here she didn't know anything. She thought mom is eating eating chaza today. Here, whoever's doing it. Is going into a suffix situation at least, right? They, they, it might be. By the time it brings the ocean to the yeah, right, right, so right. So the Gemara is right. So Rashi at the end, with some Machlikis Rashi and Taisu, will explain of Aim Breira. Even though you could say, okay, retroactively, but when you when you did it, you didn't know. So Bishas Maisa, it was Asham Teli Matzav. So even though retroactively, you say, okay, we will see now. So we'll explain that at the end. What? So, I mean, no, so that, that we'll see if, if it turns out if he's still alive. It depends. No, he wants to know, I meaning if, if this moment he does the sin and then, right, he ends up surviving. Right. Yeah, we'll see this at the end of the daf at, at Rashi. Rashi will explain this, these differences in, in the opinion of Rabbi Yisim. Now, right. So in, in regards to the ratio, the Gemara brings terminal in the b'risa. Um, It's a little bit of a difficult b'risa. There's a few different interpretations on this b'risa. But we'll, we'll first just read the words of the b'risa. But it's similar to the halacha of Mishnah of not being secluded with her. The b'risa says like this. If Let's say they see that this husband, again, assuming he is the case of im mati, uh, uh, if you're going to be divorced from today if I die from this illness. So let's say they see that she was secluded with him in the dark. Or she slept with him beneath the legs of his bed. 
says the Brisa, Ein Chayshin Shem and Esaski B'Dabba Ach. We're not concerned that maybe they were engaged in Epesa Ander Ezach, Lush and Nuki, right? That they that they were engaged in marital intimacy. No. Rather, the Chayshin Meshem Znus. We're concerned for uh, Znus. Because maybe he had Tash Meshbara. But Shikma is going to say, wait a second, didn't you just say we're not concerned for Dabba Ach and now you're saying Chayshin Meshem Znus? Now it's important to point out some Gemaras have from the Rashash that we find the word, and it's going to be Negev for the at Maskana, we find some of the word Chashchashin is as, as a Lakula. Now we're concerned, and we had this in uh, other places too, that, that it, it means to say, oh, we suspect that maybe, and to be lenient. But Akaponim, but now it doesn't read so well. They're saying we're not concerned that maybe they engage in other Acha, but we, that we're concerned for Znus. And we ain't Chashim Mishim Kedushin. We're not concerned that maybe he had Bia for the purpose of a Kedushin. To require a second get. That's what the Tanakhama says. Basically, who the says, no, af, maybe the word bizu is here, maybe not, even chayshin mishum kedushin. We're even concerned for kedushin. So the Gemara says, my kama, wait a second. You said you're not concerned that maybe they were engaged in the baracha. Then the second later you say, chayshin mishum znus. Isn't that the same thing? Isn't that just different words for the same thing? He's interpretation number one. He says, This is what the Bible is saying. There's two different cases. There's a case of Ru'ua Shenivala. This case was not mentioned in the Brisa, but it's inferred. If they see that they had Bia, Chayshin Mishim Kedushin, what could turn for Kedushin? Meaning, you would require a second get because of the Kedushin. So, like Rashi explains, it's not because of what's called a get Yashan. Get Yashin is when you give a get and it wasn't executed yet, and then they're together, you're like, okay, that's a problem, as the Gemara elsewhere explains what the problem with that is. No, because he already gave it to her beforehand. The reason why it's problematic, why you require a second get, is because we're concerned that you just did a second Kedushin. You were intimate again and you did another B, and your ex wife became your current wife again. That's why you would require a, a second get because of Kedushin. Then another case. Which also wasn't mentioned in the Brayse, and that's going to be the other Mandarim's problems with this interpretation. Nothing like Kesafim. Now, this was we said if there was Bia, we could do a condition. But if let's say he gave her money after the Bia, they see he pulls out of his wallet. They were watching. They see that this couple, this ex couple, which is now being together, he pulls out of his wallet three hundred dollars and gives it to his ex wife, if you could say that. And that is what the Brayse is saying. Chayshin Mishum is Nus. We're going to suspend and say, must have been this beer was just nus. Because the I mean we say, best na 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 nus in law. He was giving her the money as a gift for her services. And we're not concerned that it was kedushin to require a get. Because if the reason why he was being intimate with his ex wife was for kedushin purposes, he wouldn't have given her this, this gift, this esnan. Now, Rashi says, which again, according to the Rashash, you wouldn't have to say what Rashi is saying. He says, so what's the word chayshishin of his nose? It's love davka. It doesn't mean, what type of concern is there? If, what, what do you mean, what does that mean? Like as if it's like a, a concern, a halacha concern of his nose. I mean, we saw they had beer. So what's chayshishin of his If it's because of kahuna, that she's a zaina, so she's asana for a kind, she's a grusha. So anyway, it's puzzle. And if a truma, a bas kind doesn't become puzzle only but if she has a bia of Aveira, for example, a kuti, a chal, a nos, a mamzor, or those that explain the sex of and Kedushin, but not her ex. So rather, Rashi just says, since we use the words of in chayshin by the seifa, we use the word chayshin the reisha, but it's not really a chayshin, it's just explaining what happened was, it was just a maizis nos, there's no Kedushin over here, you're not going to require a second get. That's interpretation number one. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 I mean, well, maybe he already did beer. He already did Kedushin with the beer. I'm saying, so that's the question. The question is, what, what's the money now? You already did beer. Who's gets the guilt? So, according to the Tanakama, Tosh money. This is, this is a, it's whatever. It's, it's payments for the services, but it's not Kedushin. So, it's actually, if there was no money, we would have said that because you did Kedushin. Since you gave money, we're going to say, nah. Now, that was the Tanakama. He said, Af Bizu. 
even here when he gave her money, no, still Cheshub Shem Kedushin, we're still going to be concerned for Kedushin, because maybe those monies were not an Esnan, it was just stomach gift, because now you're my uh, fiancé again. We're back, we're back together again. So, so therefore he holds, you would require a second gift. That's the first interpretation. Based on this, says the Gemara, Keman Ozla, so according to this interpretation of Nachman, the way he's interpreting the Machlik is the Brisa. According to whom would you say the following teaching of Hod Amar Rabbah B'Chan Amar B'Yechan Anna Pei Aleph Amar Beis? He says that the Machlek is a Beisham Misil. When someone divorces his wife and then they spend the night in the motel, Beisil requires a second get. Now, he says that the Machlek is only Kishiru Shinivala. The guy was watching, he says they left the hotel door open, this now, whatever, he sees them from the veranda, he sees this thing, and then he sees the intimate. But if they didn't see that, he was, had be with her. No. Everyone would agree that you wouldn't require a second get from him. We wouldn't be concerned. Come on, who's that teaching of Rabbi B'chanam B'chanam like? Oh, according to where the Rabbi Nachman translates our b'raisa, it's because everyone calls like everyone. Because both according to Tanikama and the Quran Yisu, we say that where we didn't see the Bia, we're not concerned. It's only where we see that we're concerned, unless if there was monies. If there was monies after the Bia, then we have this Machlik, is would the money say, oh, wait a second, it must have been that was not Kedushin, it must have been it was Esna and Zaina. Okay, but it was only because Ruish and Nivala. If it was Ruish and Nasiach, do you Nah. You don't require a second get. That would be like Rabbi Chanan Riechanan who says, by, as we'll see on the Pe'alev, that he says that this base hill requiring a second get was only because they saw Bia. No Bia? Nah, not concerned for anything. Okay, this was all interpretation number one. Says the Gemara, Maskev la Baya. Baya does not like the interpretation of the Braisa of, of Rabbi Nachman, Rabbi ba, in the name of Rabbi Avua. Because he says, Midi kesafim ketani? You give a beautiful pshat, but if the Tana would have learned the word kisafim, which according to you is the main machlekes of the Tanakama and that of Rabbi Yehuda, then there would not have been an error in the, in the text to totally miss the primary word of kisafim. It doesn't say anything anywhere about money. So Allah Mabai rather by gives a different interpretation. It says, this is what the Bryce is saying. This is what's missing. And it's inferred that yeah, if they see that there was Bia, even so, we're concerned for Znus, the Eichashim Mishum Kedushin. Says the Tan Nekama, okay, the way Abai is explaining it, if you see this, uh, this ex couple having intimacy, we're going to say it must be Znus and not for Kedushin. For the Bia, he says, no, Af Chashim Mishum Kedushin will also begin to concern for Kedushin, which the Gemara later is going to ask, what's Af? I mean, Af, Af sounds like that it's Nus, and also Kedushin. Well, it's either one or the other. So that, that's what Gemara is going to ask. But now, based on Abayi's interpretation, we go through the same question again. According to whom is it going, the way Rabbi Yechanan says on the Pe'alaf, that he says, the whole Machlik is Bezal V'Shamay, is Kishidu Nibla, if they see this ex-couple that are being intimate, that's what Basil requires, a second get. But if they don't see any beard, according to he wouldn't require a second get. Which Rabbi Yechon explains, according to Basil, that when you see that they had Bia, that you do need a get, come on, who is that like? Says the Gemara, according to Abai's interpretation, the Brice, that's Kirbis Be Yehuda. Why? Because according to the Tanakhama, there's no Machlikis Besham Basil on this. Meaning, because uh, they would not leave Beis Hill and say anonymously like Beis Shammai, meaning that even though you saw Bia, they hold. What did what did what did uh, 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 the Tanakhama say? Tanakhama said the way Abayi just interpreted. He says Ru'u Shenivala, this ex couple that they were intimate. We said you for and you're not going to say it's kedushin, meaning you don't require a second get. Wait a second. Um, if you held like Rabbi Yechanan's halacha, that Basil requires a second get when there was Bia, then they would be saying, then the Tanakam would be saying like Bishamai. And, and, and no self, uh, uh, good standing Tana would say like Bishamai, not like Basil. 
So it must have been that they wouldn't agree with this teaching of Rabbi Yechanan. But Rabbi Yaisi, oh, he holds like Rabbi Yechanan because he, yeah, he says you require a second get, which is exactly like what Basil holds. When you see that this Bia, then this ex-wife requires another get from her husband. But Arashi points out, it wouldn't be like the one who explains the Machlekes um, that requires a get even when you don't see that there was Bia. Like over here, when they didn't see, everyone agrees that you would not be concerned. So it, just, it comes out that the teaching of Rabbi Yechanan, the way Abai explains our Brisa, Rabbi Yechanan's teaching would be specifically Rabbi Yisbi Huda. Kama would obviously not hold like that because then they would be like Bishamai, and they wouldn't be like Bishamai. So it must have been that they wouldn't agree to this premise of this teaching of Rabbi Yechanan. Okay, that was the second interpretation. Now we move on to the third interpretation, because Maskele Rabba, Rabba also doesn't like this, because he says, Mkain my af. You're telling me that when we say chayshish and leznos, it's not really a chashash, it's actually a leniency. We're saying, when we saw this ex-couple having bia, eh, znos ba'alma. We're not concerned that they got re-engaged. Now, Rabbi Yisi should have said then, chayshin l'kedushin, and that we're not going to be tied to the nos. You can't say af chayshin l'kedushin. What do you mean af chayshin mishum kedushin? It, to the contrary, it, we're not going to be lenient and say it was nos. We're going to be stringent and say it was kedushin, and say that you can require get sheni. The word af wouldn't be appropriate. Not also, if you held that it was nos, then you would be lenient. You wouldn't require get sheni. Tell them, Rabbi. Rather, Rabbi says hachim a different a different interpretation. Rabbi Yisi, Rabbi Huda, Oimer, he says, Af shenivala. That's what the Af makes sense. Even if they were not seen being intimate, still Kedushin. Because since they were seen that they were secluded in that hotel room, what's called Ede Yichud Hein Hein Ede Bia. The witnesses who saw this guy and girl alone in the room are witnesses to say that they must have been intimate. Because since they're so friendly, they obviously had many years marriage together, and now they're, uh, they're, they're exes. We're concerned that they had Bia, which is really the opposite of the Tanakama. Tanakama said that even if they had Bia, nah, you don't require a second get. Because Cheshen Liznuz will say, man, but it was not a Kedushin. On that comes Jesus Behud that says the exact opposite. He says, even if we did not see Bia, they were just secluded, you'll require a second get. Because and we have to be chayish. That was for kedushin. Says the Gemara. Okay, third time around. According to the interpretation of Rabba, come on, also hadom Rabba chanam Rabbi Yechanan. Who would Rabbi Yechanan's teaching be like on the Pei base? That machleik is between Bissel Bishamai when the ex couple is alone in the motel. Kishirush nivla. This the Bissel requires only when they saw there was bia. Never but if didn't see there was any bia. Did I call according to that one? In a tricha, men get you would not require a get. Come on, who would that be like? Says the Gemara, the law is kachad. So we went from everyone to one of them to none of them, depending on the three different interpretations of this brayso. Because as Rashi explains, according to Rava, if you would say like the Tanakama, what I mean, Tanakama says even if we saw bia, he says you would not require a second get. Because it says we're telling business. And that's not like they sell according to Rabbi Yechanan. And if it's like Rabbi Yehi Behuda, he says, even if you did not see Bia, you're also Cheshen, which is also not like Rabbi Yechanan. Rabbi Yechanan says only if Rush and Nivala. Obviously, they hold like the one who explains the Gemara over there, that the Machlika says even, even if they did not see, not like Rabbi Yechanan. And even there, Rabbi Yechanan requires again. So according to Rava, none of the Tanoim over here would hold of Rabbi Yechanan's teaching that we'll see on the Pei Alpha base. Now, the Mishnah said that Mahi Bo'isna Yamim. What is she, what is the wife's status from the time that she accepts to get until her husband dies? So we had a Machlik. She's like a married woman for all halachic purposes. He says, not Mugadeshes or in Mugadeshes. She's divorced and not divorced, meaning we're not really so sure about her status. So the Gemara brings, um, that this that we learned according to Biyasi, that she's Mugudeshes Vain Mugudeshes, and therefore she's gonna be in the halacha of Asham Tali. So Tana the Brahsa says, Well Bavacha Yamas. 
this way, so we'll explain that at the end of the daf, you'll see that this is a specifically if he dies. If he doesn't die, obviously retroactively it was revealed that it wasn't a get. And then you'd be chay v'chatas. If you did it by mistake, you'd be liable for karmachatas. So now the Gemara asks, both according to Rabbi Yaisi, that considers this woman a suffolk ashes ish, whether according to Behuda that he considers her a definite ashes ish, but the problem is, so you're telling me that, okay, when he dies, it is going to be a get. But according to them, it's not a get retroactively from the time he gave it to her, because if that would be the case, then why would anyone be chayiv for having been with her as an ashes ish? If that's the case, so it shouldn't be a get until after he dies. But for Kamala, we know that Allah didn't get Lacha Misa. There's no, there's no get after death. So on that, Amr Rabbah, Rabbi says, the Mishnah is not talking about the case of that. It sounded like the Mishnah was talking about from the Reisha of Mahayyam Mimati that it's from today if I die. Because they're most definitely, when he dies, retroactively, it's revealed that it was a get from the moment that he gave it to her. And you're right, whoever was intimate with her in all that time is going to be Potter. Rather, it's Ba'ayma, where he says, Me'eis Shani Ba'aylam. From the moment that I'm, the, my last moment that I'm on the world, then it should be a get. Oh, according to Behuda, close to the death is when the get takes effect. Then therefore, any moment before that, she was a full-fledged Eish Ish. And if you were intimate with her, you could be Chayab Kamachatis. According to Behesi, he holds that, no, no, the moment he gives it to her, we're already in doubt. This might be the moment before he dies. So it's a doubtful get. So even though he lives more, says Rashi, and Taste discussed that length, Ain Brera. There's no, there's no retroactive verification. It already became a halach of Ashim Tali. So though retroactively you see, wait a second, you see you didn't die now. So it should be chatas, Rabbi Yisrael doesn't hold it. He says, when you did it, it was an Ashim Tali, and then that's what you can be chayev. And that's what he means, Magrash, Remain Magrash. Now, uh, we'll go to the Mishnah. Um, the Mishnah had said, Me'ishani um, Ba'ilam. That was the case that we spoke about from the as we just described it in the Gemara from the moment that I'm still on the on the on the world. So turn around, learn the brayso. Yamim should be in the time. These intermediate days that between when he gave it to her and when he dies, so they're still married, as we said. Everyone agrees it's till the moment that he dies, right before it's when it's going to be get. So Bala Zaka, the husband's going to be have the rights to be mitzvahs if she finds something. My zida, her earnings, my first nidra to nullify her vows. Or your shani inherits her as he tends to have a ein dalman alf umetamala. If he's a kind of kibim tamatar, closure of the rule of it is as we said this opinion of Rabbi Hud in the Mishnah. Harei kishto lechal davar davar. She's like his wife for all halacha purposes. El sheni tzrichem and he gets sheni. The Rabbi Hud she just doesn't have to get a second get from him. Meaning if he dies because the moment before he dies is going to be a get. Now. Another opinion that we didn't mention in the Mishnah is Remeir Oimer. He says, Bi'ilasa Tuluya. Harbiya is suspended, meaning it depends until he dies or until he survives from this illness. Because if he dies from this illness, whoever had Bia with her is going to be Pater. Why? Because according to Remeir, he understands, Me'eshani Ba'ilah means to say, is the moment he gives it to her. And what he's telling to her is like this. This is your get from now when I'm here in the world if I die. So if when he dies, which active, it's revealed that she was divorced at the time that, he, that this other man had be with her. If he doesn't die, that means to say it was not a get. And if he has be with her, it's going to be chay v'chata. So it's suspended. We have to wait and see what happens. You might either be totally off the hook or you might be chay v'chata. Rabbi Yisem, he says that be'ilas is safik. Uh, the be is a doubt when he dies. Why? Because he understands that it sounds like from the moment that but we're not sure on the time of the Bia was she divorced or not. Because maybe this is the moment that's going to be the moment before he dies and maybe it's not and that she's not divorced. So therefore if he dies the man who had Bia with her is going to have to bring an Ashram Tali. If he doesn't die so then, yeah, he's going to be chayv so, And that's like related to your question. When the guy does it amazing, what the Allah is going to be, it's going to be a similar type of a thing. Is it Asra Safik? Is that you have to give Asra? Now, can you give Asra? You don't know. It is, if this is going to be the last moment, well, then it is again. And if not, it's not. That's how Rabbi Yisi understands it. It's, it's a Safik. Now, but again, if he doesn't die, then that was a chayv Then she was never divorced at all. But the sages, they say 
Megadeshes ve'en Megadeshes. She's divorced and not divorced. But Levach Yamas, as long as he dies. Like we said, if he doesn't die, of course, he can be Chai Bechatas. Which, which Rashi points out, that's exactly what Rabbi Yisi said. And that's actually, the, that was the words of Rabbi Yisi in the Mishnah himself. Did you bring Ashram Tali? Because we're not sure. So the Gemara is going to explain shortly that there's a difference between them regarding having to feed her in the interim. But first the Gemara says, Ma'ika ben Remeyer le Rabbi Yisi. Remeyer who says that if the Bia is Tuluya, which is suspended, how is he different than Rabbi Yisi who says it's Suffolk? So Rabbi Yisi says, Ashram Tali ikka The difference between them is the halacha of Ashram Tali. Why? Because Lure Meir le Maisi Ashim Tali, according to Meir, he's not bringing Ashim Tali. If the husband dies, he's totally potter, as we explained before. But Meir really holds it's happening now. But we'll find out if he dies from this illness or not. So we're just not sure yet. So uh, he'll be totally potter. But Lure Biasi, if the husband dies, Maisi Ashim Tali, you have to bring Ashim Tali because it only happens the moment before he dies. And turned out actually you were in violation, but you're not going to be chayav chatzas vaday because at the moment we didn't know, and therefore that was a suffix, and never that's going to be asham tali. Now the brayse said, "Oh, you're divorced, but you're not divorced." Says the gemara. Wait a second. That's exactly Rabbi Yisrael's opinion. The gemara difference between them is the Rabbi Zeria, because Rabbi Zeria says, "Whatever the sages say." That a woman is divorced but not divorced. Let's say when you throw a get, it's closer to her or closer to you, you're not sure. You say, okay, it's suffix, she's divorced and not divorced. In those cases, the husband has to feed her. So, in the other words, the difference between these two opinions of the Chacham and Rabisi is do you have to feed her like Rabzeira? Like Rash explained, they're not disagreeing with Rabzeira's halacha. They both hold Rabzeira's halacha. And that's why Rabisi doesn't say over here in the Bryce of Magudesh of Magudesh is because he holds that you wouldn't have to feed her. And if it would be, then you would have to feed her. Now, I, says Rashi, Rabisi himself in the Mishnah says the words Mugresh and Mugresh. Says Rashi, it's Trey Tanoi, Valib Rabisi. And the Chacham of the Brice is Rabisi in the Mishnah who holds that you would have to feed her. But here in the Brice, it says, no, you don't have to feed her. And that's the, this doubtful Mugresh would not have the halacha. Thank you for any time. Awesome.